You All can right. you can talk to me. Okay. Um, I'll be interviewing you. Yeah. Um, so can you introduce yourself? Say your name and what role you had on set. Well, uh, my name is Panther Johnson, and I handled most of the uh, physical activities on set. Now, what you think? It's just stunt coordination. So, uh, fight choreography. Like, what is physical? Yeah, activity. a lot of fight choreography, all the sword action. I mean, I mean, you know, anything that happened in Metal Fist that involved physical activity, uh, I made sure that we spent several hours per day working on that to get that just right. So do you have any training to... No. How did you get involved with this? Film? Well, I actually have an obstacle course set up in my backyard. I don't have any formal training, if that's what you mean, but, you know, ever since I was five, I just keep tripping over things. And I figured I could turn that to an advantage, you know. So I just every day I just go out of my house and I, you know how like you could just walk out your front door, right? You know, like everyone does every day. No, 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 no. I, I have to go out the window and I have to do it through the somersault. And I've trained myself to do that through uh, years of hard work. So how did the crew of Metal Fist find your uh, resume and your experience? We were both at a Panera. And who's, who's we? Oh, me and the executive producer. Okay. Uh, yeah, we were, uh, yeah, Patrick and I were uh, in line together at Panera. And then, you know, when they called my name, instead of just me, like, picking it up like a normal person would, I, uh, you know, set, I set myself on fire and dove and grabbed it. And he said, I want that in my movie. What was your order at Panera? It was a cup of soup, and it was really good. Okay, great. Um, can you... Can you um, explain to me what sorts of influences you draw from when you go to create stunts? Well, I like the French New Wave films of the 1960s. I feel that's really, uh, it didn't have a lot of action in it, but you can tell in their eyes just the intensity that they bring to the emotion. And that's what I like. I like intensity in a situation, where even when you're not jumping through uh, a window or setting yourself on fire, I think you need to bring intensity to whatever you do. And I think that's what was so great about Metal Fist, is that if you look at their eyes at any point in that movie, you see a raw intensity that's really missing from today's society and films in general. So, as far as films of the 21st century and drawing on influences uh, of the current time, do you find any sort of events influence your own take on physical hmm. violence? Uh, I feel for movie-wise, uh, Joe Dirt 2 was a big influence on me. Any other films? Oh, uh, any other films? Yeah. Or, uh, or current events? Or oh, current events? Yeah, I really think the Arab Spring uh, actually helped a lot, you know, because it's about people wanting freedom and who doesn't want freedom? And I think uh, what the best way to have freedom is to kind of act it out. You know, you don't want to just talk your way out of freedom. You need to punch your way to freedom. Am I wrong? No. Good. Um, do you do you have any um, favorite moments from being on set or working with a particular actor? Or do you find any actors particularly difficult to work with? Phil Lorento is really shy, you know, he's just a kind of a shy, reclusive guy. He just stayed in his trailer for most of the set. Uh, but then when you get him out on stage, he just transforms into this uh, kind of magical, spiritual being that can really do anything and say anything. I, he could tell me to do anything uh, that he wanted and I would do it when he's on set. But off stage, you know, I could beat him up. Is there um, an actor that you particularly enjoyed working with or that you have like a special relationship with? Well, Phil, obviously, because, uh, you know, of the magical spiritual qualities he brings. Uh, I feel uh, they, were, they were all pretty good uh, to work with. They were all very professional. Uh, the one, I don't want to tell stories out of school. Mm -hmm. um, the one problem that I had Was Zach? Sorry, <laughs> Theo and Bob are both texting. Me no, now. I was about to say Zach even before his phone rang during the middle of this interview. <laughs> because, I mean, sure he's nice, but I mean 
he would always do things like, you ever have a guy, I've never had, I've never had a guy just be so consistently annoying the whole time. You know, I'm trying to have a serious conversation here, and <laughs> little Mr. Social Life over here. <laughs> and he did this all the time, like I'd be trying to like, you know, get people through their routines, through their, uh, you know, their, their stun sequences to hit their points. And then he'd just be eating a taco next to me. And everyone would come over and ask him about the taco, and I wouldn't be able to get anything done. That's why, I mean, frankly, that's why the movie lasted as long as it did, because Zach over here was just consistently just having a social life and trying to be the life of the party instead of the life of the movie. So what do you recommend for actors to be the life of the movie? What are steps they can take to that's be That's a really good question. That's an excellent question. First of all, it's about discipline and consistency. It's about going 110%. 25 hours a day. Good, cut it, guys. Yeah. Cut it. Yeah. All right, we're rolling. All right. All right. Yeah, no, I'm sorry you were saying Camera that. is rolling and action. So who who is the most difficult to per sorry, who is the most difficult person to work with? No, definitely Zach Sinclair. Why? I didn't even pause there. Uh, the guy won't shut up. About what? About anything. He talks about... He talks about mostly the movie itself. Just go ahead and take a moment. And okay. Go ahead and yeah. Roll, roll, roll with it. So, when you're not being a stunt coordinator, what what kind? Do you have any hobbies that you? Uh, have to get you relaxed or to get your mind away from the work? Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm a stamp collector. I do some Tai Chi. Uh, I, I do some, um, you know, just Eastern philosophy, just as a pan-Eastern philosophy, if you will. Uh, I just little, do a little smorgasbord sampling uh, of most of the major world religions, and then I practice that in my own spare time. I have a question about like the physical regimen of the film. Yeah, did it's you, second to none. Yeah, did you um, make sure the actors were on like a special diet or did special training to be in the film? Well, that's another thing about Zach because he would always bring tacos to set. Uh, I had a strict uh, breakfast would be some muesli. We'd have some quinoa for lunch, and then a you know we we could treat ourselves to some protein for dinner. Uh, but uh, Zach just kept bringing fucking Junior's tacos all the time. I mean, who needs tacos at 7.30 in the morning? It's just outrageous. And I think a body is a temple. And I think Zach desecrated a lot of temples on that set. 